using the Baram um, software uh, for meshing. Um, so I've literally just opened it up and created a project. So the first thing is to import some geometry. So I'm going to select this SR72. That's read in. Next, I'm going to create the, the domain. So I'm using hex six. So I've got six surfaces. So I'm just going to put in the limits. So I've done this a few times, so I know roughly what sizes I want. So the, the domain limits that I've chosen are minus 32 to 32. Press OK. So that's been created. So I've got my geometry, I've got my domain. Next, I need to add a live point so you can see where that is. I'm just going to add it above the aircraft. Press add. That's created a live point. Next, I want to create the background mesh. So I'm just going to do 16 cells for the background mesh. So that tells me here that my cell size is four meters. Generate that. So then once, that, once that's created the background mesh, that is basically block mesh. Then I can change, I can see that there. And the next thing is to um, generate the, the octree mesh. And uh, so I just need to, do, it's the main thing is the, the surface refinement. So I'm going to select the surface, which is my aircraft surface, and add that one in there. And then I'm just going to select these. I've done this before, so I've got minimum level four, maximum level six, and six on there as well. And then refine. So that's then running the refinement, which will take a few minutes. Just doing the initial refinement, um, you can see that um, it should say the mesh count in, in the top there, but you can see from the console log that it runs a mesh check. Um, so if you scroll up, um, you should see the total mesh count which is half a million at the moment. So you yeah, haven't done that stage, you just go on to the next bit, which is snapping. You can change these snapping parameters and then just tell it to snap. And then it will start generating the next part of the mesh. So it's it's generated uh, the first part in directory one, and now it's gonna do the snapping and create the next part in directory two. So it's finished doing the snapping. Um, that's finished. Now the next step is the boundary layer as well. In this case, I want to skip skip that. So where it says number of grow, um, I'm just going to click apply. And so then basically that's just um, copying the mesh into another directory. Directory three. So it says boundary layers are applied. And it does show you mesh count in the top there. And then the final step is the export of the mesh. So apparently you need to do this, even though it's already been saved in the subdirectory, um, you export it in the correct format for it to be loaded in to uh, the Barum solver. Um, so press export, select a directory, Dark side 2, export completed. And so it's as simple as that. And then once that's done, then you can exit from this and then go into the Barum um, solver or Barum flow in order to, um, to load the mesh into that. Um, I've just opened PowerView and then loaded in the mesh that's been produced by the Barum software. 
And so, um, yeah, I can see the aircraft geometry. Um, I've loaded that in separately, and I can see the um, take a slice through the mesh and um, have a look at that and see how it looks. But yeah, everything's fine. It's pretty standard snappy hex mesh meshing, and uh, that's what you get.